Hi friends, my name is Vihas and in this video we are discussing about test driven development and how to integrate test driven development in our development processes. So friends, I will not go in much uh, theory because there's a lot of stuff available already available on internet. But uh, let's let's go with the introduction and uh, some basic things uh, related to test driven development. So let's start. So as the name suggests, uh, test drive the development in this uh, process. So we always write test before uh, our actual code. So we have to keep in mind, uh, especially in the initial stage of uh, test driven development, that we will never write any code without a test. So a uh, lot of uh, programmer ask me this question that uh, why the hell we need this uh, TDD approach. We are good with the coding and uh, uh, there are not, uh, not enough bugs coming in our development. So to answer their questions, I say to become an engineer, a software engineer, you need to follow the test driven development. Because a software engineer will always start with analysis then he will plan for his code and write test cases. After these things, he start uh, the actual coding. Whereas a programmer will start uh, straight away jump on the coding and start testing that code on browsers. So with the test driven development, as the uh, programmer is writing the test first, there are lesser uh, lesser chance of bugs later on after development and it uh, reduces the rework the software engineer feel confident about his code because he's testing his code uh, uh, he's testing he's running all the test after uh, after writing each line of code so he feel confident about his function because he has tested every line of his code is a, a new thing which you will not find on internet this is uh, this something which i experienced that we have a good chance to make a document uh, when we are going with the test driven development because we are going step by step a lot of uh, uh, coders are failing to make a good documentation of their uh, code but uh, that's uh, that's because they are not planning uh, uh, for their code. They're just thinking of the code and writing it on uh, uh, IDE. So with test driven development, as you are going step by step, so there is a, a better chance of making a documentation. So let's start with the uh, the how TDD works. So when you get a client requirement you first write a test then you execute the uh, that test but it will fail because you don't uh, you have not written any code yet so uh, in case your test is failing then you start writing your actual code just to pass your test and if that test fails again you write uh, the code again until all the tests pass, you keep on writing your code. And if the test passes, that means the uh, uh, the thing which you wanted uh, from the function, uh, that function is doing the same thing. Then you can start with your new test and this is how this uh, test driven development uh, uh, works. Don't worry if you, if you don't understand uh, what I just said. Uh, you can just repeat the video and see what uh, what I said or you can wait for uh, the next videos where we will uh, you know do the actual coding and there I will explain this again so I will be making two assumptions uh, before uh, before you re uh, before uh, you view my next videos that you have a knowledge of PHP and you have a basic knowledge of PHP unit so if you don't have uh, Try to get these knowledge before you view my videos because I will not start with 
these two things. I'll start right away with the test driven development. Thanks friend. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.